This is the Titan recorder here in one of uh, GRT's uh, system integration labs. This is the front view of it and the top is off so that we can see inside. I'm showing the three matrix cards that are in the recorder and I'm showing the system monitor here that is connected up to the output so this is the uh, this is the monitor that has all the icons on it and that will be used to control the system. There's also three other monitors that are connected up. There's one, two, and three. One for each of the three channels. So those are the DVI outputs or the VGA output for each of the three cards. We also have over here another system and that has three matrix cards in it and that's what we're going to use for our Air Inc. 818 sources. And this is a software application that we're using to control each of those sources. So what I'll be doing is configuring these cards here as our Air Inc. 818 sources using this software application and it'll be sending Air Inc. 818 signals to the three cards that are in the recorder over here. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is configure uh, using the GRT test applications uh, and there's three of them on the monitor here. I'm going to use those to configure uh, each of the three cards to receive Air Inc. 818 and put it out on the three monitors that we see here. The first thing I'm going to do is turn on sources, video sources, Air Inc. 818 sources for each of the cards. And this first channel that I'm working on here, this is the FTI channel, 1680 by 1050. And I select uh, this here in the box and I turn on the transmitter here. I'm going to the second channel, which is my HUD channel, which is my 1280 by 1024. And I'm turning on a transmitter here. And my third channel is my EVS channel, which is the 1400 by 1050 and I'm turning on my transmitter here. So each of these had videos that were preloaded and so now I'm transmitting Air Inc. 18 out of each of the three matrix card sources. Okay, what I'm going to do now is configure each of the cards using the GRT test applications to receive the Air Inc. 18 and put it out on a monitor. So I open up the FTI application here, the, the GRT test application here. And I do a quick modes receive and so we can see live video coming in now uh, and this is in the, the GUI of the test application and I put it out on the DVI monitor simply by turning the video port on. When I turn that video port on it doesn't display on the GUI but it displays to the, the DVI monitor. So here we have the live video and I'm going to show now when I click the button how it, it jumps over to the DVI monitor. And that's how you switch it from uh, the GUI to the DVI monitor. Now I'm going to open up the second channel which is the HUD channel. And I'm going to do the same thing. We see it here on the GUI, and I'm going to click the button, and then we're going to see it appear up on the monitor. So now we have the cards converting two channels and putting them onto the uh, DVI monitors. And I will do the third channel. Uh, and this is a monochrome signal, so it's showing up as green here. And when I click the button, it will go to the uh, VGA output port on this card. So this card has two uh, ports. One is a DVI input, and the other is a VGA output. So I'm taking Air Inc. 18 input now, and I'm going to put it out to the VGA output monitor. And so we can see here now, uh, we're using these cards as Air Inc. 818 to DVI or VGA converters. 
the next thing I'm going to do is connect a DVI source to the uh, EVS card and because that is a DVI to Airink 18 converter card. I'm going to use this little yellow box as my DVI source uh, and I've configured it for a 1400 by 1050 color signal. The card will receive that color signal and convert it to a monochrome signal and send that out as Airink 18. I'm looking now at the third channel. This is the EVS channel and you can see that it's receiving uh, the live video over here. So this card is set up as an Airink 18 receiver and I'm going to change it to receive DVI, convert it to Airink 18 and send it out as an Airink 18 stream. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn the flow off on the card. I'm going to then uh, change it to a transmitter by selecting quick modes transmit. I'm going to select the DVI button on it over here. The DVI capture button. And now I'm going to come back over to our three cards over here. And these are set up as transmitters right now. We're going to configure this third card, uh, turn it off as a transmitter. I'm going to now configure it as a receiver and turn it back on. And what we see in a little square there is there's a black and white test pattern that's being transmitted from our little box here. This is our uh, DVI source. It's going into the card as DVI, being converted to Airink 18 and sent out over to the receiver card over here, and that's receiving the Airink 18 and it's displaying it right there on the screen, the test pattern. So I changed the EVS card from an Airink 18 to VGA output card to a DVI to Airink 18 converter card by simply switching it, quick modes, transmit, and turning on the DVI capture button here. In a similar manner, I can change the other two cards to Airink 18 transmitters. I turn the flow off. I can load an image. And then I do quick modes transmit. And I now have a transmitter. I'm going to do the same with the third channel. And I uploaded that and am sending now, both of those cards should be transmitters. Now I'm going to come over here where the, where the uh, Airink 18 is received. I'm going to turn these into receivers. And there's the checkerboard pattern that we sent. And there's the other image that we sent. So these cards can be used to uh, take an image, upload it, and transmit it as Airink 18. The next thing I want to do is configure the Titan as a video recorder and to do that the first thing I'm going to do is close down each of the three uh, applications that I have uh, that I was using to configure the cards as transmitters and receivers. I turn the flow off and just exit out. Okay so those three applications are closed and you have to close those three applications if you're using them before you open the video recorder because uh, the video recorder uses the same drivers and if you try and open them together you will get an error. So once those are closed then you can open up your StreamPix application. 
actually before I can uh, configure this as a video recorder, I need to set up my Airink 18 output sources again. So I'm going to come back over to my application and I'm going to turn each of, each of them off as receivers and then I'm going to load a video file uh, over on my, my transmitter side. So this takes a little while to load, so I'm going to load each of the three channels with a video to play. Okay, so I have configured each of these three matrix cards here as my Airink 18 sources. I have uploaded uh, videos in uh, one in each of the three channels, their video loops. And now I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to open up the stream picks application which is used for the video recording software. <clears throat> so as you can see there are now three windows open and each of them is receiving a video stream and you can see the timestamps each of the streams here it's displaying on the screen it's not recording right now the next thing I want to do is actually uh, record a sequence so I'm going to be saving this as a new sequence and now I'm recording all three of the channels and you can see that by the little uh, red dot that we have on each of the channels I'm going to record that for maybe uh, 30 seconds or a minute Okay, now I'm going to stop the sequence there. I'm going to turn off the live display. And then I'm going to uh, just hit the play button. And now it's uh, playing back what we recorded. I can stop it. In single step. So uh, that is uh, recording all three channels simultaneously. I can also, instead of playing back to the, uh, the screen here, I can actually take the Airink 18 or take the, the video file that's stored on the hard drive, and I can output it through the cards back out as Airink 18 So that's what we call uh, play out. I'm going to enable play out on each of the channels. And now, if I'm not mistaken, that we, what we have here should be being sent out as Airink 18 back over to these cards over here. Now these cards right now are still transmitting so I need to change them from transmitters. So I'm going to uh, turn them off one by one and change that to a receiver. Okay, so now that's receiving Airink 18. I'm going to go to this next channel, turn it off as a transmitter change it to a receiver, turn that back on, and this third channel, turn it off as a transmitter, make it a receiver and turn it on. Okay, so what we see here is uh, three channels that are being sent from the cards in here. Uh, the video files are being loaded into those cards. They're being sent as Airink 18 over to the cards in this chassis and they're being displayed on the screen as an Airing Kid 18 video stream now.